Welcome! Here we are in France for the next rebuild. We're going to rebuild Stade de Rimes. I hope I pronounced that right, but more likely not. This team is one of only two French teams that has ever made it the finals of two Euro European Cups slash Champions League Cup. And that's one of those teams, not PSG. They were in fact the first of two teams to make it. The first cup all the way back in 1956, losing Real Madrid. And then they lost again in 1959 to Real Madrid, I'm almost sure. But in the next, in that 15 year span, they won six league titles. And they were in the first division until all the way until 1979 when they dropped back to Division Two. Then that's when things got dark and all, and in the 2000s, due to many financial issues, ugly situations, this team went all the way down to the national level. They came back up with League Two. In, at the end of the uh, 2000s, they got back to League One in in the middle of the 2010s. Then they went down to League Two. They won the League Two title three years ago. Two years ago, they finished 10th. Last year, they finished 6th and qualified for their first European football since the, since the run of the, the 60s for this team. But this year, they are currently sitting in what would be the spot for the relegation playoff, which is 16th or eight, uh, 18th in that range for the French League. And they lost in the qualifying rounds of the Europa League. So we're going to see if we can take this team back to its glory days and get it over that final hurdle of your, being Champions League champions. Here's a quick look at the lineup we we're dealing with. As you see, they're much stronger in the back than they are in the front. And the nice thing is we do have a solid goalkeeper in uh, the Serbian Rakovic. So let's see what we can do to get this team to win the Lagoon. So, three players sold, including the captain of the club, Yunus Abdelhamid. is going to Lazio for 10.5 million. Musa Dumbia is going to Roma for 8.5 million. And Arbor Zanelli is going to Volum for 9.5 million. And with that money, we've made two signings, both from Lyon. We've got the 20 year old Maxence Kakarot for $22 million and we got the young rising 16 year old winger Rayon Cherchi for $5.4 million. Two more players leaving France. Marshall Munetzi is going to Gen Genoa for $4 million and Derek Coutessa is going to Blackburn Rovers for $4.1 million. So what will be probably our final signing for this period We've gotten William Saliba from Arsenal for $14 million. Welcome, William. So, that was it for this transfer window. Pretty busy, but out of the f four rebuilds done this year, this is by far the most talented younger team that I've had. And I've got several young players that have potentials in the low 80s. So, we've gotten younger. We're going to see how this team grows and see how we're doing sitting on January 1st. So we're sitting 15th in the league, so we're not in the relegation zone, but we're only two points up on it, so i got some work to do. Lead the league is Marseille right now, ahead of PSG. Now, since there's some teams not included in FIFA 21, we were actually in the Europa League group stage. Let's see how we did there. Well, we were at least competitive in it. We finished third behind Napoli and Fulham. Fulham is in because the same reasons why we're not in the playoffs, but in the group. And bottom is a team i not going to try. So let's see if we do any transactions this window. No business transfer window, so time to go to the end of the year, see how we finish the league, hopefully staying up. Look at that. Nice finish to the end of the year. We finished 12, so we moved up a couple positions, but we were within range of top eight. Surprise, surprise, PSG won the league by five over Marseille. And then being relegated will be Dijon and Lorient. So the clips went missing, but Real Madrid won the Champions League over Liverpool. AC Milan won the Europa League. 
Here's a quick look at the lineup. As you see, it's actually developing quite nicely. Everybody's into the 70s. Kirk, Kirk he, it's only at 71, but that's because he missed a couple weeks due to injuries. And Dion missed a couple, missed, I think it was five months due to injuries. So, but other than that, we're getting there. So we're going to go on to Season 2 and see what moves we can make and make a run at European football. We start off the second season by selling Xavier Chavalarin to Leeds for $11.8 million. So, we've added the central defensive midfielder, Bubakari Sumare from uh, Lille for $30 million. So, we've sold Gislaine Conan to Vashitskas for $13 million. We've sold the Kosovovian uh, uh, Valan Berisha to Parma for 5.7 million. So to replace Conan at left back, we signed Ryan Atanori from Angers for 15 million dollars. The 20-year-old left back actually plays for Wolves in real life right now. We've sold two more players: the young striker Fraser Hornby, the Scottish Scotsman, who's going to Sheffield Wednesday for 1.5 million. And Elon Kibble is going to Casamapasa. For 2.2 million. So, five, six players out, two players in. So let's go January 1st, see how we're doing in the league. Hopefully, we'll be mid table better to start out. Well, I was expecting to be in better position than this. I guess the only solitude is we're only one point out of 13th. So, PSG is leading the league over Lil and Leon. So, let's see if we do any business this transfer window. So, we've sold Moreto Casama to the English Premier League to Sheffield United for a little over $4 million. So, that was our only move this transfer window, so let's go to the end of the season and see how we finish in the league. Well, we finished 13th right where we were last year, but we finished with a goal differential of plus one. So, that's interesting. Surprised no one, PSG won the league. PSG won the Coupe Nationale again. And after winning the Europa League last year, Inter won the Champions League this year over Spurs. Lazio defeated Chelsea to take home the Europa League. Here's the stats. Hopefully, if it doesn't corrupt again, uh, you'll actually see this. Torre with 17 goals in his age 20 years. So This is what the team looks like. That's the stats, I mean, and I'll show you what the team looks like here in a second. And as you see, I got a whole bunch of guys at the 78, 79 range. So this team should be doing better than I expected. But anyways, on to Season 3 and make another push for European football. And real quick, Fulde Dokori, part of a loan-to-buy deal, has been sold to FC Basel for $2.8 million. So Moretzik's progress has been slower than I was hoping for, so I've upgraded... Uh, one in an overall potential and went down a year in age and got signed Tenge Nyansu from Bayoun for $16 million. Two quick player sales. Lucas Gill is going to Hermannstad for 280000 and Moises Sakava is going to Standard Liege for $2.25 million. And we've went ahead and sold the center back Morezic, the Austrian to PSV to $16.3 million. So, and what may be a risky move, but I'm looking to improve at the striker position, we sold the Mali and El Bilal Torre to Valencia for $27.7 million. I also sold Timothy Ancada to Excel Moskren for a little over a million dollars. So we signed our new striker, Frenchman Brian Mbuemo from Brentford for $33.2 million. Even though he doesn't quite look as good as El Torre at at when he's 20 and just slightly lower and Buemo actually does have a higher potential. I was chasing a couple other strikers but couldn't work out the financial end with him so I settled in Buemo but not disappointed. So that was it for what was a busy transfer window. I also signed in Ruben Drolinli uh, pardon me, Drolinli who was a free agent so I picked him up for depth on the bench because I have a few players out on loan so Needed the extra bodies for right now, but 
Still not getting the money I was hoping for. But anyway, January 1st, let's see if we can make improvements and get in the top half of the Lagoon. Holy balls. I know I made some changes, but they weren't like going from 75 to, you know, Kareem Benzema or Mbappe. I made small upgrades to change it up a little, but look at this. We're sitting in third in Lagoon. 10 behind PSG, 5 behind Leon. In fact, I'm only 8 points away from what I finished last year with, if I remember right, with half a season to go. How about that? Thank you. Let's see if we make any moves to make a push for, heck with Europa League, let's go for Champions League next year. Nope, didn't do any business this transfer window. We're going to just let the season go, and hopefully we can make it all the way to Champions League. If not, I am feel positive we'll finish at least Europa. So on to June 1st. And we were able to keep the momentum and finish third in the league with 74 points. So Champions League football is coming in Season 4. We were 25 points off PSG, but hey, that's a whole nother step. This is definitely... A plus season in terms of media expectations. And we did that with losing 10 games. Hmm. Well, anyways. Leon defeated PSG in the Coupe de Nationale. Man City defeated Leipzig to win the Champions League. Leverkusen defeated Milan in penalties to win the Europa. Mr. Dia with 22 goals on the season. And a carrot with 10 assists so good stats could use a little more goal scoring but we'll take what we can take here's a look at the overall for the season as you see most of the players have now crept up in the 80s so and I have also got a couple of nice youth cami products I got 17 year old Jeff Fraw and Sari who's both in the mid 60s already and I've got a small bench, but I've got a couple youth cabin goalkeepers. I've got a couple more guys that are 15 in the mid in the low 60s already. So progress looking good. I may look to sell Rakovic because his 83 overall is not improved on the season. So he may have hit his peak, or maybe have a little bit more in go potential. But I'm gonna sell high on him possibly and see if I can bring in a top flight goalkeeper next season to see what kind of money we can get from the board. So on to season four and European football for the first time well, outside of the Europa League this year for raids. It'd be the first time in 50 years they've been in the European Cup slash Champions League. Let's go. Season four. Here we come. So we started off this fourth season selling Belgian veteran fullback Thomas Fulkett to Hertha Berlin for $29.7 million. So we brought in our replacement, Mr. Fulkett. We brought in Benjamin Pavard of Manchester United for $57.6 million. So we had to go through Champions League's qualification to get in the group stages. As you see, we you can imagine we did. First round, we defeated Feyenoord. 4-0 uh, on aggregate, and we end up beating Sparta Praha, a total of 8-1 on aggregate. So we are officially in the group stages. So all we did this transfer window was exchange right backs. So let's hop on over to the Champions League, see which group we draw. Hopefully we got a good one. Oh, we didn't get that good of a draw. We got Barcelona, who's a powerhouse in these rebuilds, and then in this particular re rebuild, Inter Milan's already won a Champions League and a Europa League title. So this is going to be uh, hard in Dynamo Kiev. So we're going to go January 1st, see if we can qualify for the knockout stage. Ah, we finished third as kind of expected with seven points. So we were somewhat competitive. We tied Barcelona, probably, maybe. But anyways, we'll, so we'll go on the Europa League in the round of 32. So maybe we can win that competition. Now, how about this? We are leading the league over PSG. That's nice. Gotta love that. And look at that, 43 goals in 19 games. So let's see if we do any business this transfer window. So I decided to leave well alone, save the money for next year for a bigger tr uh, transaction. So we're going to go to the end of the year, see if we can hold on this league in Ligue 1. 
No, we couldn't quite hang on to the lead in the league and we finished second behind PSG by six points. But we did have the same goal differential. So, well, we had a few more draws this second half of the season. Monaco beat Rennes to win the Coupe Nationale. We lost the quarterfinals to Nice. Dortmund defeated Liverpool to win the Champions League. Oh, we almost got our first piece of software in this rebuild. We lost to Milan in the finals of Europa League 3-1. to one. Look at that. Cavero finished the season with 27 goals. So This was definitely a nice season. A quick look at where everybody ended up for the overall. As you see, nice steady progress. Good portion of the lineups in the mid 80s. Everybody's at least 80 or above. So, on to season five. We're going to hopefully get into the knockout stage of the Champions League this year and overtake PSG for the title of Ligue So, on to season five. So, to start the season, we're changing things up. We've sold who's the gentleman who's been our leading scorer throughout this rebuild so far. Mathau Cafaro is going to Everton for 59.7 million. And then Mr. Brian M. Buemo is going to Burnley for 107 million. So, our replacements we sign Christopher Kunku from Leipzig for 115 million to play striker. And on the wing, we're going to play Mr. Smiley Saar. We sign him from Arsenal for 104 million and some odd bucks to go in there. Welcome to the club, gentlemen. So that's it for this transfer window. Basically, replace two players out, replace them with two replacements. So we're going to see who's in our champions group this year. So we the group was a little kinder this year. We did draw Barcelona, but we also have Moscow and Dynamo Kiev. So I think we should make it to the knockout stage for the first time in 60 years for Reigns. So, we'll find out here in just a moment. So, we made it to the group stage of the Champions League. I mean, group stage. We made it around to 16, the Grand Champions League. Finished behind Barcelona, ahead of Moscow and Kiev. In the round of 16, we will be taking on Milan, the team that beat us for the Europa League title last year. So, let's get some revenge. And we're second place in Ligue behind two points behind Lille. So, let's see if we do any business this transfer window. Nope, no business this transfer window. So let's go to the round of 16 matchup and see if we can take out some revenge on Milan. So here we are, the round of 16, playing Milan. Let's see if we can get some revenge. Everybody's in the game. And the home score, 2-2 two, two tie. The goals by Saren Cherkchi. Uh, here we are playing the San Siro, 2-2 two, two score. So we need to win this game, all likelihood, because of the two-way goals from Milan. So let's sim and see. Final score will be 3-1 goals by Atnori and Kuku scored a brace. I'm sure I got that name wrong. So, as you see, quarterfinals, we draw Liverpool, and we start off at Anfield. So, we're not missing anybody. Let's see how we stack up. 2-2 two, two draw. I'll take that. Uh, Nori and, and Kunku has got the goals, so they're being stars in the Champions League. Here we are for the home leg against Liverpool. Let's see if we can pull this out. Now, one thing knows this is year five for us, and Liverpool still has eight of their starters from the current team. 1-1, one, one, that's good enough for us to advance on away goals rule. Yeah, I had Nori with the goal in the 39th minute. And apparently the two league meetings per year is enough for PSG. They want a piece of us in the semis of the Champions League. The other side is Man U and Juventus. So here we are, the semifinals starting with the game at PSG. We got a full lineup in there. They still have Mbappe, so let's see how we do. And the score line will be a 2-2 draw. Goals by Sar and Dia. So 
So unfortunately, Samara is out due to red cards, so I had to play around to get the best lineup in. So Serhos is in as striker, so, and Nkunku is moved back in midfield. We do have a two-way goal advantage, so we're at home here. Let's see if we can hold on and make the Champions League final. And we have made it! So in the finals we get Manchester United. So let's take a look at our season before we play this Champions League final. Ah, second again in Ligue 1, three points behind Lyon. And we lost the finals of the Coupe Nationale to PSG. So no domestic hardware this year. The Europa League was won by Lazio over Leicester City in the finals. Mr. Dia leads the way with 28 goals and Sar has 11 assists. A carrot. That's 15. Oh, lovely. So we get to play Man U at Old Trafford. That sounds fair. But anyways, as you see, I'm not at full strength. Mr. Cherky is out due to red cards and Muku is in there. So we're going to sim and see if we can win this re rebuild in season five which I believe would be the record for all my rebuilds including FIFA 20 so score line can we do it no 2-1 loss Rashford with the goal in the 51st minute you know it's frustrating with these rebuilds is when you send them it's you it's oftentimes don't you see only one substitution and sometimes zero but it looks like we're going to year six so guys, we're see you next year. So we start off the sixth season with a signing that I was trying to make previous years, but I s settled for Benjamin Pavard as my improvement. But now I've done I've sent Benjamin Pavard over to Napoli for Nordi Michele and 35.8 million, but he's a overall one upgrade and he's three years younger, so that's the way to do business. So I've decided to go all in for this year. Normally I, I've i been trying to sign French players as much as I can. Well, I've signed a Brazilian who plays the French League currently with PSG. I've signed Marquinhos from Bayoun. And I've sent the young Tenge Nianso and a little under $30 million in his place. Nianso, I was looking at the future, but I've decided I'm going to take the chance and get the big overall increase and try win this year. So, add some more insurance to the bench sign center back, Luke Bade from Olympias. Oh, that's Leon. For $24 million. I want an extra center back on the bench because if I have an injury to in the defensive midfield, I can move Marquinhos there and then put one of these center backs in for him. So, welcome to club, Luke. And three players I've sold Dion Lope to Cincinnati for 780000 Axine Kroos out of the Youth Academy to SV Reed for 590000 And goalkeeper Diali Ndaye to Wisla Pirat for 450000 So that was all the business we did this transfer window. Got a little bit of money in the bank for mid-season just in case. But we're going to head to January 1st, the midpoint, and we're going to see how we finish our group in Champions League. We won our group over Inter Milan, Sporting, and Shakhtar Dons quite convincingly. In the round of 16, we get to play Dortmund. Once again, we're pegged in second place in the league this year behind PSG by three points. Let's see if we do anything in this transfer window. No business transfer window, so on to the round of 16 matchup, Dortmund. Here we are for the way leg at Dortmund. I am Miss Knight Nori, who's out for a red card. I mean, yeah, yellow card. So, the Season 1 Youth Academy product, the one that we start out with, Mr. Cruz, is in that left back. So, let's see the results. Hopefully, some way goals and a win. Ooh, we lost 2-1. to one. Saliba scored a goal in the 78th minute. Okay, now we're home for the home leg. And I just realized, looking at Dortmund's lineup, they've got pretty much their entire, a good majority of their team that's currently playing for them. And all, that means all the young guys have grown up. 
Sancho, Holland, Bellingham. But we got a pretty stout team, and this time they're not facing us less than anybody. So we need to make a one goal difference here at home. Oh, and we couldn't do it. It was 2 2, and Mr. Church Turkey got a red card in the 60th minute. Oh, that's disappointing. On the end of the season now. We finally got our first piece of hardware in this rebuild, winning the league one over PSG by nine. Still can't break the curse with Coupe National. We actually lost the round of 16 to Nice for the second time this rebuild. Le Leon defeated Rennes to win the cup. And all the Liga final, Barcelona defeated Atletico 1-0. Real Sociedad defeated Spurs to win the Europa League. And here's our stats for the season. Look at that, Mr. Diaz. 31 goals on the season, while Sar contributed 16 assists. Now, we're on to what's going to be Season 7. I was sure we were going to wrap this up this season, but we took a step back in the Champions League. So we're going to go Season 7 and hopefully make a difference and win it this year. And real quick before we go to Season 7, here's our lineup. As you see, Sumari at 91, and then Sar, Saliba, and Rakovic at 90. So, anyways. For the second straight year, I did a swap, which included Mar Marquinhos. Since I don't want to take a chance on not winning this year, and, I, and he's at 31, I went ahead and made an improvement. And got the younger, but one overall higher rated, Dayu Upamakana from Spurs. And I had to throw in an additional $34 million to make this deal. Welcome to the club, Dayu. Okay, I'm swapping players out like you would swap a used video game for a new one. Mr. Christopher Nkunku is heading to Inter Milan and coming back as Lautaro Martinez. Plus, we sent $40 million. Even though Nkunku is a Frenchman, I wanted to keep Boulier Dia up there up front. Cause I, I like keeping guys who originally start out the club in these rebuilds so they get a chance to win the Champions League. And they were both the same rated, so Mr. Nkunku out and Mr. Martinez in. Welcome. So I need to do some bench strengthening since most of my bench was a bunch of youth cami pro products who were in the low 70s. So, first, I got myself the backup goalkeeper of the French-born Alfonso Areola from PSG for $30.8 million. Then, more French connection, we have Sign and Golo Conte from Wolfsburg. We sent $10 million in Vout Vey, the Belgium center-back who, who originally started in this rebuild with this club. But, unfortunately, he wanted out. He wasn't happy. So, I will take Mr. Conte. So that's it for this transfer window. A lot of swapping of a lot of big names. And maybe I didn't need to go that far. Could have let this team grow in a year and just maybe that Champions League result from last year was an aberration. But didn't want to take the chance. So we're going to head to January 1st and see where we're sitting in the Champions League. So this was an interesting Champions League. We finished second behind Spurs, so we qualified. But look, we had two wins and four draws. We had Lazio and Braga in our group, so it was a pretty strong group. But still, that's, for this team, that shouldn't be happening. Around a 16, we get the honor of facing giant FC Barcelona, the career mode champions. So... And uh, on to the league results. Uh, the league, we're crushing it. We got, we're on our chance for an invincible season. Two draws, and that's it. Ten points clear to P PSG and Rennes. That's kind of surprising. So, transfer business coming up, if any. We've sold Hugo Ikiteke to Swansea City for $1.5 that turned out to be our only move this transfer window, so on to Barcelona, and let's see if we can make a run in this year's Champions League. 
And also, real quick, here's a quick preview of our squad. As you see, nobody's blown 88. And that's Mr. Cherokee. I'm sure I pronounce his name about six different ways. And he's only 23. So, anyways, on to Barcelona. Now, here we are hosting Barcelona at home with a full regular squad. So, let's go see if we can make get a lead in this round of 16 fixture. And no, we don't. We lost 2-1. to one. Upa Meccano with a goal, but they have Kern Cow and Dembele with goals. So here we are. Everything stacked against us. It's Mali, Sar is out due to... We are in a deep pile of poop. Sar is out with injury. Martinez is out because of red cards. And we are down 2-1 to one on the road at Barcelona. Odds, let's just say casinos would love to take bets on Barcelona. Let's give it a shot and hope for a miracle. And we got said miracle in the sh penalty shootout. Wow. The backup striker, Sirhus, had two goals in regulation. We did give up an 89th minute goal to Dembele to force the extra time. Wow. I will take that miracle. So, quarterfinal action, we get Spurs. We once again start off the home leg, but to add to Sar on the sidelines of injury, we also have Upa Makana out the injury. So, they're piling up, but we beat Barcelona, so anything can happen. So, let's see how we do in the home leg. Nil nil draw. Uh, could have been worse. Kane missed the penalty for them. So here we are going to Tottenham and playing at their new stadium. Uh, same situation as before. 0-0, zero, zero, so basically we just need to win this game. And, oh, we lost 2-1. to one. Ch Cherky with a goal in the fourth minute, but, oh. Uh, Another frustrating end to the season. But that wasn't exactly the end of the season. We did hold on to win the legal title by 12 over ends. We did lose three games the back half of the year, probably due to the injuries. It's also, I Nori was out for two months with injuries. So, I guess there is some positive this season. Beginning of the year, we did win the Trophy, Nation, Tr Trophy Champion of France over Lyon 2-0. And we did finally win the Coupe Nationale Cup over Montpellier, 3-1. to one. So we did do the domestic trifecta. Dortmund went on to beat Liverpool in the Champions League final. Real Sociedad beat Atalanta 1-0 in the end of the Europa League. 35 goals poured in by Mr. Dia. He is getting to age 30, so he's getting close to warning signs. Not Maybe not as close as FIFA 20 would be, but... Still got to think about it, possibly. So anyways, on to the eighth season to see if we can win Champions League football this year. Coming up. So my goal this transfer window was to sign players for backups that were in the 80s. So we signed young midfielder who can play both wings, Michael Lisi from Reading for $69 million. Ashley's price is still at Reading with an 84 Reading. And also, to back up in center back, we've signed 33-year-old Samuel Umtiti from Manchester City for $36 million, bringing some more French veteran leadership into the club. And those were our only two moves for this transfer period, so we're going to zip on to January 1st, see how we did in the Champions League. That's better. We finished top of the group ahead of Napoli, Benfica, and Dynamo Kiev. Round of 16, we face Manchester City. Ooh. Well, league action. Once again, we establish our dominance on the league action front. 15 ahead of Rennes and PSG. So, anything in this transfer window? The answer is a big fat no. So, we're going straight to Champions League action against Man City. 
Okay, as you can see, I screwed up a little bit and actually sent past the first matchup, but we won on the road at Man City 2-1, to one, so we're in the the home leg of this fixture. Uh, Diaz out due to yellow cards, so Searholz is in. A striker other than that, we got a normal lineup. Let's just get going. Here we are at home. Can we hold on to the lead? Yes, 5-2 aggregate. Ait Nori, Latero Martinez, and Kakaret with the goals. And in the quarterfinals, we draw defending champions Borussia Dortmund. They still have Holland and Sancho at this point. Uh, we have our full lineup. So let's get going and see if we can walk, leave Germany with victory. Three one win that I will definitely take Cherokee and Dia with a brace. That's the way to do it. We have our full lineup here for the home leg against Dortmund. Let's just get into it. This shouldn't be an issue. And two nil win goals by Dia again and Saliba. So in the semifinals we draw Man U, the team that made this. Rebuild about 20 minutes longer and at least three extra years when they beat us in the finals uh, in year five. So, let's see if we can exact some revenge on them. And then the other side is Milan and Leipzig facing each other. So not one of the usual big clubs. So this may be our tough matchup out of the four, four teams. Three teams technically, but anyways, on to the semifinals. Here we at Old Trafford, the scene of that very same Champions League final we lost to Manchester United. Uh, our, we got full lineup, and they still have De Gea and goals. So let's see the results. The goalkeepers definitely don't depreciate as much in 21 as FIFA 20. Wow, we crushed them. A brace for Martinez and Cockerquet with a goal. So we have a 3-0 win. Uh, Uba Mecano is out due to yellow cards, so Umtiti is in, but I don't think that should matter. We have a massive lead. Are we on our way to our second Champions League Finals? Yes, we are. We absolutely own Man U. Uh, brace for Sar and Samare with a goal. And in the finals, we get AC Milan. This is going to be a matchup that should favor us, but I doubt they have Ibrahimovic there. He would be like 30, I mean 46 years old. But hey, you never know with him. So here we are. We're playing at Wembley Stadium, taking on Milan. Uh, unfortunately, Mukele is out due to yellow cards, so I'm going to slide Saliba out wide and put Umtiti in at center back since Saliba has a lot more pace. As you see, just go ahead and review. McKaylee's at 90, so our whole entire starting 11 are, is over 90 rated with Samari topping out at 93. So here we are in the finals against Milan. They do have the ever f dangerous Donnarumma and goals, so goals may be tough to come by, but let's see. Can we win our first ever Champions League championship in the fourth time asking in the history of Stade de Reyes? in this rebuild and 1-0 win score by the Mr. Diha our, our long standing member of the club finally got him that Champions League title he's been waiting for his entire career here at Reds and there you have it that beautiful cup finally returning to Reds is a spot is 70 Three years since the very first European Cup slash Champions League trophy was handed out where they made that initial finals and lost to Barcelona. This time we got the revenge we needed. It's funny, they said we were playing Wembley Stadium there in the wording. They're saying Estadio Santiago Bernabeu. I guess the game decided we played one half in London, the other half in Spain. Hey, I don't care, it's still a trophy. So let's look at the rest of the season results. Another crushing convincing win in Ligue 1 over PSG. Begin the year we defeated Rennes to win the Trophée Champion's trophy. 
It's a trophy for you, a trophy for you, a trophies for everyone. We took the Coupe Nationale, so we won the domestic treble and the Champions League, winning for Marseille. Club standard Boulier Dia with 38 goals on the season. So, as you look at stats, we are going to one final season, give us a chance to defend our Champions League trophy that I always do. So we're going to do a quick sim of the final season and see how much more hardware we can take home. And by the way, at the end of the season, Mr. N'Golo Conte is retiring at the age of 37 and a Champions League title to put in his memory banks. See you at the end of next season. So, for this rebuild, we only made two signings beginning this year for depth. It's a Diop for $42 million from Monaco and Matteo Ganduzzi from Arsenal for $87 million. Both had depths on the bench. So, the rest is free transfers because I'll, during the simulation, just let the season go since it's not going to simulate after the season. But these are only two that matter. We took another Lagoon title, but only f by five over Monaco. Beginning of the year, we took another Trophée de Champion over PSG. Rennes won the Coupe Nationale over PSG. We lost in the round of 32 to Lyon. Talk about a shocking upset. We won the Super Cup over Liverpool at the beginning of the year. But Liverpool followed up their Europa League title with a Champions League title over Atletico Madrid. We lost to Atletico Madrid in the quarterfinals, 5-4. to four. So, definitely a regression in the, in the team this year. But such is life, we were unable to repeat. And Chelsea defeated Bologna to win the Europa League. And as you see, you can see where we regressed. Dia only had 23 goals. On this season, but anyway, just to highlight a couple players on this team. Mr. Boulier Di was here at the very beginning of the rebuild, and also another player that's been here throughout the entire rebuild is Mr. There he is, Predra Grakovic from Serbia, the goalkeeper. So, as you look up and down the stats, that will be it for this rebuild. Uh, is today is December 22nd as I'm trying to get this up so ideally I would actually love to get two more rebuilds done before the new year uh, I've got I believe three leagues in Europe that I've not done a rebuild of, out of that league yet in the two years I've been doing this so I'm going to try to get those done uh, but to try to get two rebuilds done before the end of the year I think I'm going to hop over and do a actual Premier League team so, but if you have a team of your choice that you'd like to see done, especially if they haven't been done on YouTube yet, uh, give me this suggestion down below in the comments. Like and subscribe to the video. I will eventually be doing other things on this channel because uh, doing these rebuilds can be tasking and you need a break. But, thank you for watching. Uh, if uh, it's not out, I hope everybody enjoys their Christmas or or however you celebrate the holidays, and I will see you guys soon.